Hello, this is Maria Homayuni from Nokia Technologies. Uh, I'm going to present a paper entitled Comparison of HEVC-based OMAF compliant 6K effective packings for viewport dependent 360 degree video streaming. As the title suggests, uh, in this presentation, I'm going to compare the RD performance of two 6K effective packings for 360-degree video streaming, which both are recommended by OMAF standard. Let's go to the outline of the presentation. So first, uh, I start with some backgrounds. Say a couple of words about OMAF standard, capabilities and constraint, 360-degree video coding and streaming, and viewport-dependent streaming. Then I'm going to describe the two test cases we compared in this paper which are 6K effective 360 degree video packing for ERP and CMP. Then I'll talk about zonal quality assessment methodology that is utilized in this paper. And then I go through simulation setup and illustrate the simulation results. And then I conclude the paper afterwards. Omnidirectional media format or OMAF is the first virtual reality system standard developed by MPEG, uh, which defines a media format that enables omnidirectional media applications with focus on 360-degree video images and audio. Um, it supports three degree of rhythm. So OMAF specifies delivery of 360-degree video and supports ERP and CMP and their region-wise packing with 4K decoding capability constraints on end-user device which in turn allows only limited viewport resolutions. This is lower than the resolution of many current head-mounted displays. Uh, an illustration of ERP is shown in left figure, while figure right shows three by two cube map projection format. In 360-degree video, the field of immersion is provided to the viewer when frame rate, special resolution, and picture fidelity is high. These requirements should actually be met in different stages of content production, compression, streaming, decoding, and displaying. But these are challenging if you consider transmission bandwidth constraints and decoder capability constraint and at viewer's device. So it is not feasible to transmit the whole content in an old-fashioned, high-quality manner. On the other hand, when a viewer watches 360-degree content, only a limited part of the content, which is limited to field of view, is required. Therefore, viewport adaptive streaming methods have been developed. Viewport adaptive streaming approaches reduces the bandwidth requirement for 360-degree content transmission, which have multiple resolution bit streams in which only the viewport is transmitted in high quality according to the orientation change of the viewer. OMAF standards suggest two 6K effective multi-resolution packing schemes for ERP and CMP, which meets the requirement of HMDs with quad HD display under constraint of 4K decoding capabilities. For both methods, the viewport tiles are originated from 6K original content while the rest of the tiles are from downsampled version. The 6K effective multi-resolution packing assessed in this paper are developed by aggregating different parts of the video from different resolution levels. The video is first divided to tiles and encoded with different resolutions. Both packings assessed in this paper are MAF compliant and are intended to limit overall resolution to be decodable with a single 4K decoder instant at the viewer device. Using either of the packings, the content within viewer's field of view originates from 6K content while the remaining parts is provided with lower resolutions. This allows to benefit from high resolution capability of HMDs that are in the market and also meet the OMAF 4K decoding constraint. The stream layout of both packings are shown in figure A and B. So figure A is 6K effective CMP resolution with picture size of 1920 by 4608 while figure B is 6K effective ERP resolution picture with size of 
3840 by 2304. Okay, so let's see the 6K effective ERP packing. To realize MCTS-based 6K effective packing, four different versions of uh, content are encoded with different resolutions and tilings. The viewport area is encoded in 6K, while non-viewport is encoded in 3K resolution. The polar area is selected from 30 degree of top and bottom of the ERP content and is encoded with 3K and 1.5K resolution as the polar area of viewport and non-viewport parts, respectively. So the coverage of high-resolution content is 180 by 120 degrees, and the overall uh, and overall the packing is 46.8% of the original resolution. The 6K effective CMP is realized by cube faces of 1536 by 1536 samples, almost the same sampling density as 6K ERP. The content is encoded in two different resolutions of 6K for viewport and 3K for non-viewport tiles, uh, which results in 180 by 180 degree coverage for um, high resolution content and the packing overall has 62.5% of the original resolution. For the quality assessment, we assume that the viewer has specific viewing pattern, such that he or she focuses mainly on the equator rather than watching top and bottom poles. Furthermore, previous studies show us that the viewer normally moves his or her head horizontally rather than vertically. So, according to 6K effective packing of either of ERP or CMP projections, there would be eight different streams representing a 360 degree video in different viewing directions that are 45 degrees apart, and high quality viewport of them are distributed on the equator. So we consider discrete non-overlapping quality assessment views or QAVs. For each stream, there are nine QAVs. Um, which eight of them are aligned with the eight streams that we talked about and are shown in blue marks on the sphere. And for each stream, there would be eight other QAVs around the central one and is like 15 degree part in either of horizontal or vertical directions. This is shown by red marks in the picture. In a mixed quality viewport dependent VR streaming platform, they, where only the current viewport is streamed at a high quality. In case of head motion, the user might see a low quality viewport or part of it for a very short period of time. That's why we consider zonal PNs in our quality assessment to have a fair analysis about the quality that the user experiences in real situation. So we defined four non-overlapping zones. Front zone, which is the region that the viewer is looking at the time, Side zone one is around the front zone and as it, and is a region that the viewer might see in case of a small head motion around the center of the viewport. Side zone two is the region that viewer might see in case of substantial head motion while the stream has not changed yet. And back zone is a zone opposite to the front zone and is the one that the viewer can see only if he or she turns his head completely to back. So to implement zonal PSNR for each QAV, we rendered a cube map out of the closest viewport based stream. The quality of the front and back zones are measured from the front and back faces, while quality of SZ1 is measured from um, 15 by 90 degree content of top and bottom and also 30 by 90 content of on the left and the right faces, and the remaining parts are used for uh, size and two quality evaluation. Okay, so in this slide, we talk about the bit allocation between high and low quality tiles. Um, six, since 6K effective ERP and CMP are different in projection, packing, and the area of 360 degree content that is covered with high resolution tiles. 
we need a fair comparison method between the two approaches and balance the RD performance in different zones. So we encode non-view portiles of CMP in QP plus three um, quantization parameter, which lowers the quality of low resolution tiles and in turn increases the RD performance gain in front and side zone one, out of which we extracted an uh, a weighted average for a fair comparison, which we'll talk about it later. Okay, so about the simulation setup and conditions. Um, HEVC reference software HM16.15 with main 10 profile and random access configuration has been used to encode 97 frames of 12, 8K and 6K test sequences recommended by JVIT common test conditions. Um, MCTS encoding technique was implemented in HM16.15, which was used for tile coding. Um, 360lib5 software was used for ERP to CMP com projection conversion. Um, 8K sequences are first down sampled to 6K ERP prior to CMP and ERP 6K packings. And uh, for quality measure, we used Biontecard delta rate for Luma. Uh, in 6K effective ERP, all tiles are encoded with four QPs from 20 to 29. But in case of 6K effective CMP, once all the tiles are encoded with the same QP of 20, 23, 26, and 29, and uh, on the other test, the low resolution uh, non-viewport tiles are encoded with QP plus three. So here's the experimental results. Um, these two tables here show the comparison between 6K effective CMP versus 6K effective ERP. The comparison is made in each of different four zones. Um, the left table shows the performance of 6K effective CMP over 6K effective ERP when all tiles are encoded with the same QP. And the right table uh, shows the same comparison when non-viewport tiles are encoded with um, QP plus three. And uh, positive numbers in each column shows that 6K effective CMP has higher bit rate than 6K effective ERP. Experimental results show that uh, BD rate of front zone and uh, side zone one, and also BD rate of back zone and side zone two are correlated. And when uh, increasing the QP values of non-viewport tiles, I mean, in back and side zone two, the BD rate of front and side zone one increases. Uh, also, another observation is that for each one unit increase in performance, the BD rate of back and side zone two decreases with three point. So we proposed a weighted average measure for fair comparison between the two approaches. Uh, according to the proposed weighted average, the performance of the 6K effective ERP and CMP are sequence-wise mixed. Uh, in 6K sequences, the 6, uh, 6K effective ERP performs much better, which we believe it is because of having less projection conversion in the process of generating 6K effective ERP. And this is more obvious in the sequences with more high frequency, like Frank Hassel and landing. Um, the loss of high frequency during projection conversion results in less RD performance in 6K effective CMP. However, in 8K sequences, the difference between the performance of the two methods is much less, which is both because the 8K sequences used in this experiment have less high frequency, uh, plus the number of projection conversion used during the process of producing both 6K effective CMP and ERP are the same. Okay, to conclude the presentation, um, in this presentation, we compared the performance of two tile-based multi-resolution packing of CMP and ERP, uh, which are both the formats recommended by OMAF standard. Uh, we utilized zonal PSNR quality assessment for the fair comparison, and um, we used different beta location for viewport and non-viewport tiles to 
make the performance much visible in viewport related zones. Uh, the experimental results show that performance of the two approaches are pretty much sequence wise, although the average uh, they I mean in average they both act very much similar, uh, especially when the content is 6k. Uh, the 6K effective ERP performs better since it requires less projection conversion and the impact of projection conversion is more obvious in the sequences with more high frequency component. Thank you very much for your attention.